and it is uh, dinner time. Uh, and it's also the fall, and so it is the time for, and season, for squash. Delicata squash tonight. Uh, delicata squash is awesome. It is a, it's a really flavorful, sweet, um, sweet squash, and, um, and it's lower in carbs. Right now I'm keeping a low carb diet. Um, so this is a little bit of a, squash in itself is a little bit of a cheat, except unless you're using like spaghetti squash. Um, but anyways, we're going delicata squash tonight. It's a nice fall meal. This is a stuffed delicata squash that we're doing. So I have in my little pan here, um, I've got a package of um, sweet um, uh, Italian sausage. Um, I'm using chicken sausage tonight. Again, keeping things lean meats. Um, and I've got um, the casings removed. All you have to do is just give it a little slit and then and pull that stuff out of there. And I'm using, I don't know if you can see how easy this is, I'm just using the mix and chop to chop this puppy up. Um, and so we've got this skillet going. Mix and chop is great. Um, my mom was telling me she uses it for like frozen juice concentrates, that kind of deal. Um, but it's so handy for so, so many things. I've been using it to make guacamole too, and that's been really awesome. Anyways, so I'm gonna let this guy, I'm gonna let this stuff cook down a little bit more um, as I kind of crumble as I go. In the meantime, I'm gonna head over here we're gonna make the stuffing for it. The stuffing is really easy. Um, I'm gonna clean off this onion. Always have your junk bowl ready um, on the side here. Um, again, slicing an onion, we go, we cut off the top of it. We score it on either side. We peel away that outer coating. And then your onion is good to go if you want to like dice it from there. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the, the food chopper tonight so you guys can see that. This is my chef knife. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the end of it as well um, to prep it to go into that food chopper. If you are prone to crying from the onions, then the food chopper is definitely for you. Food chopper is a really easy mechanism. If you haven't ever seen this, this is a pamper chef staple. So, rah, um, <laughs> insert Stranger Things reference here. Um, so there's your little blade protector that goes over the top of that. Punches in, there's your guard. And then if you ever wanted to, you know, chop as you go and then have like a canister of what it is that you're chopping, you can use it that way. Um, I'm gonna go freestyle onto my, my mat. I hope you can see this. I'll go over and So already it's chopping really fast really fine and again I'm making a stuffing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, there my onion is already diced up. It was just that easy. I'm gonna take um, two stalks of celery and I'm also going to trim those guys first and then I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the chopper too. Why not? I'm gonna just pre-slice them just so they can fit in there. But right, let's give those guys a try. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna... There we go, that was perfect. Oh my gosh, can you imagine using this for um, Thanksgiving stuffing would be awesome. It makes things so easy. That's, I'm doing that in eight little chops. Um, and every time, I've tried this before, every time you do this, I'm trying to hold this, it rotates from side to side. See how it rotates? Um, so that's why you get such a good cut. That's, that's what makes it different from other choppers um, on the market. In fact, that's plenty of celery for me. That's all the more I'm gonna do. Um, I don't want too much in here. And then I'm also gonna throw in some mushrooms. I've got a handful of those. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a, in a view. These are all going into the thing together in with my sausage. Oh, those are so pretty. I wonder what it looks like if I only do one. <laughs> now I'm just messing around. All right. I walk. All right. Like, like I said, that was like four mushrooms. Four mushrooms are always deceiving. You get way more out of it than what you expect to get. So, um, this is all going in there with my uh, chicken sausage. 
into the pan to saute and cook down. And I can even keep using the mix and chop to put it all together. This is gonna make such a nice stuffing. Um, and then from there, we already cooked, um, Jeff already had a time on my way home from work, did this already. Um, I've got three delicata squashes already sliced um, into a 425 oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Give it a little spritz of olive oil. Um, amazing. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. I'm all out of kosher salt, so I gotta go with the regular table salt. I'm gonna do that. And then it called for a sprig of thyme. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the herb mill. Uh, I think you've seen me use this before. But anyways, my herbs go right into the top there. There's a little ceramic ball. And then we put this there, snap it in. And then we basically just give it a couple little grates there. Pull out the... Okay, so we're just about done. Uh, my stuffing is looking wonderful. It smells incredible. My squash, I figure I should feel that my squash is all nicely roasted, ready to go, ready to fill my little boats. Um, but the other thing that we're gonna add is a bunch of Parmesan. Um, and you can either do this once everything is done and just put it on top, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it right into, um, into my filling here. I'm gonna turn this heat down. Um, and then, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix in the Parmesan. I am using microplane zester. Uh, there's a mini one. This is the long one. There's a wider one for, for, uh, with a wider grate for cheese. Um, but, um, you definitely want to invest in this. These, uh, a microplane zester is amazing for, obviously, Parmesan. Um, <laughs> but also, um, uh, lemon zest, lime zest, um, grated chocolate, shaved chocolate over the top of things. Um, it's um, a grated ginger. It's great. It's great. Let's see what I did there. We are ready to go. Mm. Don't they look lovely, June? Mm. Happy eating!